guys welcome to another video by geek together uh today we'll be talking about encrypting uh the guac d protocol using an ssl or tls certificate in our last video um i showed you guys how to set up a distributed install of apache guacamole which like i have here in this diagram we had a guacamole instance installed in the cloud which in this case we used a uh, linode um, but you can use Azure or AWS. And then we also had a local installation of the server component of Guacamole, which is GuacD, inside of our internal network. And then we connected um, our external or cloud hosted Guacamole to use um, the GuacD protocol in our internal network. So instead of using everything in the cloud and having to open up ssh rdp and vnc out to the internet we are only or we only opened port 4822 for guac d for our cloud instance to communicate with our local hosted guacamole server and that way we have a secure connection to our ssh rdp and vnc servers in our internal network and it also saved us the problems of managing multiple port forwarding for SSH, RDP, and VNC. We only had to port forward the port 4822. But in that video, um, by the way, the video is going to be linked up here, somewhere on the right-hand corner. Um, you can click on that and watch it. As part of that video, we did not, or I did not show you guys in detail how to encrypt the guac d protocol which runs over port 4822 so if you follow that video like i explained everything that was being sent between your guacamole instance in the cloud and your internal guac d protocol or server um, over port 4822 wasn't secured with tls i gave you guys an idea on how to do that at the end of that video but a lot of you reached out telling me that you're getting some errors of which i know what your problem is and that's why i made this video so we can correct those issues so in order for us to do this we're going to need two things we're going to need a guacamole instance in the cloud which in my case i'm using a guacamole instance i have installed on linode by the way this video is not sponsored by linode but i am open to sponsorship so hey linode if you want to reach out that's fine we can do that so once you have your guacamole instance installed in the cloud you also want to have um, a virtual machine or uh, a docker install of guac d or you can even do this on raspberry pi you can follow my previous video like i said and that's in that video i go into detail how to install that on a virtual machine so you need those two things and once you have that we're going to head over to the command line uh, this is our guac d or guacamole server install inside of our internal network at home so if i show you the ip address here you can see we have an internal ip address of 10.100.10.10 .10. and if i go here and open up our virtual machine that is hosted on linode if i do an ipa you can see we do have an external IP here. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, the first thing we're gonna do as part of this video is we are going to create a self-signed certificate and a, a private key. So in order for us to do that, we're gonna run this command. The command we're gonna be running here is an open SSL command. We'll run this command as sudo. Um, as always, I have these commands listed down in the description section below. So you can just copy that and paste that in your command line as well if you're following through to this video. Um, we are going to create a certificate and a key that is valid for 3,650 days, which is equivalent to about 10 years. Um, in a production environment, you might want to make this lower or you can make it how, um, higher. It all depends on how you want to make the SSL certificate. Either way, as long as you um, secure this certificate and keep it in a private place, um, you should be fine. 
um, we're going to output our um, key file. We're naming it guacd.key. And this is going to be stored in the Etsy SSL private. That's where private keys are normally stored on Ubuntu systems. Uh, you can store this in any location that you want, but I choose to store it in that location. The same for the certificate. We're creating a CRT cert and with the file name guac D. So once you run this command, it is going to prompt you for a few things. Um, you can enter anything in here. It doesn't really matter. Or you can just leave everything as blank. So here we're just going to put um, VA. All right. And once you're done creating the certificate, the next thing we want to do, remember, like I showed you in the previous video, we want to head over into our Guac D configuration file. And that file is going to be in the Etsy um, and Guacamole folder. And if you look into this file, since this is just a Guacamole server install, the only file we have in here is the guacd.conf. So we're going to use nano and we'll open up this file. Once you have this file open, we're going to head back here to the browser for a little bit. So this is the guacd.conf file I showed you guys in my previous video. Um, what you need here is you want to copy the SSL section for this file. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we'll copy that and we'll paste that in here. So if you look at the SSL uh, cert, we have the server certificate, which is the certificate path of the certificate we just created. If you noticed, I created the certificates to meet these requirements. Um, so if yours were different, you make sure you want to make sure you enter the correct path in here. The same for the key file. You want to make sure you're entering the correct key file here. So once you do that, we're going to save that and then we're going to restart guac d so once you restart guac d you want to make sure you check for the status if you get an error here if your guac d fails to start um you might want to check to make sure that the user that your guac d instance is running at or as uh, has access to that certificate and key file if you look here um the key was loaded and the certificate file was loaded and we are listening over all the interfaces using port 4822 so this first part is done we have successfully configured um, ssl to work with our guacamole server internally okay now there are some other steps we need to do so the first thing you need to do is use something like rsync um, or some other copying software to copy the certificate, which is going to be this certificate file here on to your guacamole server in the cloud. Because since guacamole server runs Tomcat, Tomcat has to be able to trust that SSL certificate since it is a self-signed certificate. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in a moment. So in my case, uh, since I don't have our sync set up, I'm just going to use SFTP and download this cert file from this internal machine. And I'll use SFTP and upload it to my guacamole instance in the cloud. So if you don't know how to use SFTP, that is beyond the scope of this video. Uh, if you need any help with SFTP, you can let me know. But I'm going to post this video here and I will replay the video once we have the certificate file moved on to our guacamole server in the cloud once you've moved your certificate file from your guacamole server install into your apache guacamole client that you have installed in the cloud like i have here you can see i was able to move the certificate file here what we're going to do now is use the key tool command to add this cert file into our java key store so in order for us to do that the command we have to run is so before we continue i'm going to stop here because i want to show you guys the error you're going to get 
if we do not complete the steps i'm about to do from here which is add this certificate file on to our java key store in our guacamole client which is the um, html5 side of a guacamole that we're running in the cloud um, so i'm going to minimize this here and we'll head over back to the browser this is our guacamole instance in the cloud we're going to head over and create a new connection so assuming you've already done your firewall rules and done your port forwarding of port 4822 um, we're going to create a test ssh connection okay we'll set this to ssh and since we haven't changed anything yet in the guacamole.properties file to by default use our internal um, guacd server we're just going to specify the parameters on here for this connection so i have my external ip pasted in here so you want to paste your external ip um, that you want your cloud server to connect to since we are port forwarding um, the port is going to be 4822 and we want to turn encryption on okay and then now we're going to enter the information for our ssh server or the server we want to ssh to so in this case, we want to SSH into our um, GuacD server internally because uh, it's our lab server. And then once you do that, you save that. Okay. And we'll head over to the home and we'll try to access that server. That is going to fail right away. So we get an error. If we head back to the browser of our internal server, and if we run a status, you can see unable to set up SSL. SSL accept failed. The reason this is going to be because our Java doesn't trust that certificate since it's a self-signed certificate. If we run the systemctl status Tomcat 9 on our guacamole in the cloud, if you do have access to your um, command line or SSH, you can see we get an error here about certificate path okay it failed because um our java is unable to find a valid certificate okay so we're going to clear our screen now we know what the problem is so we're going to run some commands here to add our certificate which is a guacd.crt to our java key store First, you want to know where your Java key store is located. We're going to run the command read link followed by dash F and then this path user being Java and um, said S being Java. So once you run that, you're going to get a path. And that's the path we're going to use for this next command. So I'm going to paste that on here. Um, you want to replace this section here with this path but if you're running the most current version of a patch of, of apache guacamole the path should be the same if you're using um tomcat 9 so you can just copy the command and paste it on your command line so as you can see we are putting or importing the certificate guac d into our java key store and we're naming it secure guac d cert so we can identify it if you have multiple certs in your java key store so once you run that command your java key store is going to ask you for a password if you haven't set up any password for your java key store um, for most of um, you the java key store default password is always going to be change it so C H A N G E and I T. Now you can see Java is asking us if we want to trust this certificate and we're just going to enter yes. Okay. Yes. And once you do that, you can see our certificate has been added to the store. So once that's complete, before you can go ahead and enjoy your SSL and TLS encryption with the GUAD-D communicating between the cloud and the one that you have in your internal network, we need to restart Tomcat 9, okay? And once you do that, 
now we can head back over to the browser and if we open this we should have a successful connection into our internal network okay so i'm going to refresh that first because we did um restart java login and now you can see we are presented with a um, authentication page so i'm going to enter my username and password here and boom we are successfully connected into our internal network securely without opening port 22 all we needed was open port 4822 we port forwarded that and we encrypted it with a tls certificate for an additional layer of security so we head back over to our internal server if we run status guard d again now we see a new connection was created okay Head back over to the browser, we can exit, go to the home page. So if you are planning to use this for all your connections, you might want to set this or set the configuration in your guacamole.properties file and tell it that you want all your connections instead of using um, your guacd or your guacamole server installation in the cloud um, with your um, install you have on Linode or AWS um, you want to point it to use your guacd server installed in your internal network so to do that you're gonna head over to the terminal and you want to cd to Etsy guacamole and where you have the guacamole.properties, you want to open that up. And in here, there are some configuration changes we have to make. So we're just going to add the line guacd hostname. Okay, we're going to set a guacd hostname. Um, here, you want to put in your external IP. So I'm going to copy my external IP and I'll paste it in there and if you use the different port you want to also put that in there okay so since you have that set up um the one more thing we want to do is actually also tell um our guacamole that we are using ssl with guac d so we need to specify this as well we're going to specify um guac d dash ssl and that's followed by true so once you do that, you want to restart Tomcat. We're going to head back to the browser and we are going to go back to our SSH connection. Need to refresh my page first. If we head back over to our connection settings, if you open SSH, now you can see I've completely removed um, the proxy parameters for the host name, the path, and encryption, since we already have that specified in the command line or in the guacamole.properties uh, config file. And notice I have an internal IP, which is the IP of um, an SSH machine or lab machine inside of my network. Okay. And then once we save that, if we head back over to home, if we open SSH, you can see we're still able to access our guacamole server by using our guacd server in our internal network protected by a serve sign SSL certificate. So this brings us to the end of this video. If you have any issues setting up your guacamole server to use SSL and TLS for communication between your guacd or guacamole server and your guacamole um, client, you can always leave a question down in the comment section below or you can head over to the Geek Together Hub. Uh, please do not forget to like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel.